What's going on, everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. Today, we're going to be going over Shiba Inu because something really big is about to happen, and this is going to send Shiba Inu directly to the moon. So we got to talk about this. Definitely hit the like button and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you all want me to go over next. And also, if you want to become a member of the channel, definitely go ahead and do that. I'll go over any crypto that the members want me to go over next, as long as it's not some kind of scam coin. And also, this video is brought to you by marcellus.beatstars.com. If you need any background music for your YouTube videos, or if you just need beats for your music, I got you. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. Let's get straight to it. So let's talk about something first. Before we even go over the technicals, we're going to talk about the Sheep area and blockchain. This is huge there's big stuff going on so we just got a huge update here so over here it says wolf thank you unification und for the latest update in regards to the sheep area through your most recent medium release and this is the most recent medium release so sheep area the sheep area private alpha test net has been successfully running for a number of weeks and is allowing our team of developers to create the necessary support tools prior to the public beta test net deployment the primary tool under heavy development is the wallet application, so which is intended to be an all-inclusive application covering two-way asset transfers between L1 and L2, asset transfers on each respective level, staking slash delegating, and in future releases, ShibaSwap integration, which will also be deployed on L2. So Shibarium is being built on and improving well-established battle test battle tested and robust technology with X Fund and particularly the Oracle of Oracles, which will play a key role in the network and as AM. So AMM. The Shibarium public block or the public beta test net is planned for deployment in Q3 to coincide with the final test net upgrade, which includes the most anticipated IBC gravity with fun or w fun updates so the public data or the public beta test net will allow parties to fully interact with the network including the validation process so this is a pretty big update for shibarium it's been trending everywhere actually if you go on twitter and you look up uh shiba inu shibarium is actually trending on twitter which is cool so it's obviously not going to show right now maybe if i click uh refresh enough times it might show or it might not, but it has been trending everywhere on Twitter. Or not Twitter, but you know, Twitter. But yeah, this is pretty cool to see uh Shibarium finally being done with you know, almost out there. But um, let's go ahead and talk about some technical analysis because for one, Shibarium is gonna be huge for Shiba Inu, but we're already doing some nice movements in Shiba Inu. We're up six point five percent in the last twenty four hours, now six point six percent. So that's pretty good right there. We're doing better than Bitcoin, not better than Ethereum though, but we are doing better than Bitcoin now. Moving on from this, let's kind of just go over some technicals here. So the first thing I'm going to talk about here, we're kind of getting rejected here at this resistance. So be careful right now. Now, I did a technical analysis for uh, Doge and Baby Doge, and it kind of all looks similar right now, even Bitcoin. So everything it has pretty much topped out here, and everything has hit this top twice. It's hit the resistance twice. So this is a really key point right now. I'm really curious as to what's about to happen because, yeah, we just now hit the resistance twice, right? The third time's the charm. After the third time, you usually know whether or not you're going down or get, going down or pretty much up. But what I'm noticing here is the oscillator. So you can see all this buying volume. This was way overbought. All of this stuff here, that was the overbuying here inside of Shiba Inu. So then you've seen overselling happening, which was here. And that's here on the oscillator. So now that all that overselling is happening, you've seen more buying coming in, right? And now... This is very important to look at. So just pay close attention here. Look, notice how this buying wave, right, formed up and now it's back down into a minor selling wave. But notice how the next buying wave is way smaller than that first buying wave. This is a key indicator that we are about to have a pullback. So if we are about to have a pullback, you can even see it says this is a bearish signal here. Our pullback could either bring us down here. And this is, you know, a lot of people don't want to hear a pullback, but we still are going to pump huge. But right now it's going to pull back first. And that's kind of what I'm seeing here. Now you do see over here, the bulls are in control of the 24 hour market control by 80%. So we are 80% bullish. And yes, we did pull our, yes, we are set to pull back, but we are also set to pump. So this over here is 00001068 or 1070, just to kind of be simple here. And that's where our support is going to be next. So we may see a pullback to that area. So definitely wait for that. And then after that, you can see another pullback down here. If we become bearish, that's a big if. So if we are bullish, then what you'll see for Shiba Inu is right over here. So pretty much if we're bullish, you're going to see Shiba Inu going up here to the next resistance. And this resistance brings us all, all the way up here to point zero 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 one one six two. 
So that's where that resistance is going to bring us to. Right now we're at 1103. So we have the possibility to get to 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 6, 0 or 62, whatever one you want to say. But yeah, we're going to have that possibility to get up there. Now, remember, this is the 15M chart, so it's very, very short term. That's why you're seeing that it doesn't look like it's going to do much pumping. That's because in the short term, maybe not. But in the long term, CBU is definitely set to pump huge. We're going to have some nice pumps. Now, going over here to this four-hour chart, and remember, when when this whole Shibarian thing comes, like this is going to be groundbreaking for Shiba Inu. A lot of meme, like no meme coin has really pulled this off. So this is going to be huge. Shiba Inu is way more than just a meme coin at this point. So let's go over a few other things here with Shiba Inu. Now, this is the four-hour chart, so it's a lot more long-term. So we are still having selling, and we're still at the peak right now of our selling wave. Notice how it kind of flattened out right there. That means this is the peak of the selling wave. Now the selling is starting to start getting smaller and smaller. So you actually may see CBE pull back a little bit. Now I don't think that we'll pull all the way back here and add another zero. I mean, it's possible. But right now, I think CBE is more likely just to pull back a little bit more. Maybe it does get all the way back here to the five zeros and eight, nine area. So five Z nine, if you want to say that. But, you know, right now, it's, there's a huge possibility that we could pump after that, though. So that pullback isn't going to be too big. All right. Yeah, it's really not going to be that big. But I did want to mention here, if we do become bullish pretty soon, then what you'll see is Shiba Inu making its way all the way up here to this next resistance. Yeah, this next resistance is really far away from Shiba Inu. So it's all the way up here at 00001840. And that's where our next resistance lies. So that's a pretty far ways from now so yeah we're definitely set to take off we're set to break out we're set to pump we're gonna have some nice movements coming in for shiba inu so definitely prepare for that and get ready like i said none of this is, none of this is financial advice i'm not a financial advisor so definitely do your own due diligence this is just what i see personally and remember definitely go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe because you know it really helps the youtube channel out immensely for the youtube algorithm and uh leave a comment in the comment section let me know what you all want me to go over next if you want to become a member of the channel Definitely go ahead and do that. I'll go over any crypto that the members want me to go over next. And also, this video is brought to you by marcellus.beatstars.com. If you need any background music for your YouTube channel or YouTube videos, or if you just need beats for your music, I got you. And as always, I'll be back with another video.